Hi everyone, welcome back to JPWHU TV. My name is John, your host as always. I hope you're all doing well. This video is sponsored by 3retro.com. Please click the affiliate link in the description below that will take you directly through to their Retro West Ham section where you can purchase retro shirts from the 60s all the way through to the early 2000s, including the 75 and 80 cup strips, which are being the basis of next season's, uh, next season's kits. There's also Umbro and Admiral track jackets, polo shirts and sweatshirts and t-shirts, so go check those out. Any purchases that you make through the link below will go to help fund the channel, so thank you very much for any purchases that you make. You will be helping me out massively. The subject of today's video is discussing the rules that are coming in next season. I watched the video back that I did a few weeks ago and it's not exactly clear. There's a lot of rambling by me, which is normal. Um, so I thought I would actually redo the video and make it as clearer and as more specific as possible for example the rules around the new handball rules coming in which are basically when the ball is accidentally hit the player's hand not arm but hand before crossing the line a goal will be ruled out a goal not the goal a goal goals will also be void when a player accidentally handles to create an advantage or subsequently scores so this is again this is pretty much ambiguous as it always is from the FA, um, they, they are good. It's a good idea in principle. This does lead it open to players kicking the ball specifically at their hands or arms. So, and therefore, it's going to be ruled as handball, and it's going to be either a penalty or it's going to be a free, um, free kick to the opposing position. That's going to be the worry for me. Um, but it's when this, this ball, this rule needs to be clarified 100%, and it does not currently do that. Uh, there's also rules on the new free kicks the sight of an attacking player lining up in the defensive wall will be outlined from next season so basically any attacking players will be banned from standing within the meter of the wall of three or more players so there's a this there's amb ambiguity around around the two-man wall that happens at the moment so that, that that could still go on you could still have an attacking player in there technically speaking but at the same point this is just a bit of a worry. It really is a bit of a worry because, again, it's it's not... Even though it's a better idea, I can't see it, though. I can't see how having a, not having a striker in the wall when their teammate is kicking the ball in for the free kick is going to make any difference. I can't see it, but those, those are the rules. And also new rules around penalties. A goalkeeper will need to have keep at least one part of their foot on or in line with the goal line when a penalty is being taken. So they can't have that split advantage um, that some goalkeepers do. But also at the same point, that gives that leaves less advantage to the attacking player as well that's going to kick the, kick the ball. Because, they, because the, they, the goalkeeper can't move until the ball has been kicked. So the, uh, it's, going to, it's going to lead to a lot of retakes. Uh, I reckon this is going to be a lot of retakes. So it'll be very, very interesting to see what happens on that. And as I say, with the substitutions, um, they we can't have any player of the of either team, opposition or home team, leaving the field at the most longest point. They have to be leaving the field at the closest point, which includes going round the the basically the pitch. So which will be in, in walking in front of opposition players, or, or walking in front of your own players, depending on what time the. the substitution is made and what part of the game that's been made but basically this is a better idea it stops time wasting even though it's already added on anyway so in a way it's kind of it's kind of stupid to have this rule but at the same point it's a good idea to stop players time wasting and therefore the 90 minutes will just purely be the 90 minutes now as i said in the previous video as well uh, there are going to be rules around managers getting yellow cards or red cards but it's more specifically um is that the, the te senior coach in the technical area will receive the decided punishment when offering, well, sorry, when offending individuals cannot be identified, such as mass arguments in, uh, between backroom staff. Uh, this could mean mob, uh, this could mean certain managers receiving cards for failing to control their staff, even though they're not involved in it in any shape or form. So I can understand the reasons behind it, but at the same point, yeah, no really don't get it at the same point because it's it's yes the managers need to be um, held accountable in the same way that players do of course 
you know we've all been crying out for that for a long time but again i, I can't see the how, how this is going to make much of an impact on the game to be honest with you now even though drop balls don't happen quite a lot um, all that much you know, over the last few seasons there has been an update to it anyway the ball will now be returned to the team who last touched the ball before play stopped with keepers receiving possession if play ended inside the penalty area so basically yeah it's we hardly we hardly get to see it but it's it's an introduction and it's 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 a good idea but again it's just going it's going to it's going to give some players incentive to time waste just a little bit more um and also of course everybody's been talking about for the last two to three years the introduction of the video assistance re uh, referee or var for short they are only going to be used in the following circumstances goals and the incidents that led leading to goals penalties red cards and potential cases of mistaken identity for example what was it the was it arsenal chelsea a few seasons ago where old mate you were sent off incorrectly yes 100 percent but goals and the incidents leading to them is a bit ambiguous does that mean that var is going to be used for handball shouts for penalty shouts for offside, um, offside shouts it's ambiguous at best it really is and and therefore also there's nothing that seems to explain why sorry how many var shouts are going to be there in the first place it doesn't say that we'll have um the captains because it should only be the captains because basically we need to reintroduce that rule where players can't surround the goalkeeper and uh, sorry the, the referee and or any of the officials for that matter and sway their decision by intimidation which 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 we see quite a lot um but at the same point it, it doesn't say how many times um a captain or whoever is going to get or the manager is going to get a shout for doing var is it going to be one time per side for um for 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 each half is it going to be twice in the, we just don't know and that needs to be clarified again because again as always the FA have left it so ambiguous that it's going to be uh, it's going to be a hot topic of debate next season. It really, really will be. And the last one, and I can't believe the FA have agreed to this. I can see the Premier League have, but the FA, I can't see how they've agreed to this. There will be eight league Premier League games next season that will have a new time slot of quarter to eight on a Saturday evening. So, guys, so basically, on we've already got. The evening kickoff on Friday and Wednesday, blah, 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 blah. We will now have the 12.30, the 3 o'clock, the half five, and the quarter to eight for eight games in the season. I really don't see the understanding. Apart from TV deals, that's it. There's no other explanation for this. As I say, I can understand it during the week because people coming home from work gives you plenty of time. And of course, there are people that work during the weekends as well. Of course, understandable. So you know, so you won't play. People won't be missing any games as a result of that. But I think for us to have pretty much four different time slots on a Saturday for a game, I it's it's catering to the home crowd people. It's it's catering to the guys that guys and girls that are sitting on the sofa instead of being at the game. That's all it is. It's all that is. And as a result, they're going to be making more people drunk for having later and later kickoffs because they'll still be leaving their house at 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, whenever they usually leave. And we're sitting in the pub for pretty much 10 hours straight and waiting 9, 10 hours straight before game. And so it's, it's only going to make things worse. It really is only going to make things worse. But guys, as always, put your comments in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this. Also, um, there have been a couple of, there's been four new subscribers. So thank you very much for joining, guys. Only two of you um, were, in, were announced through the through YouTube. So it was Jason and Peter Kelly. So welcome, guys. Thank you very much. If you're watching the channel, put your comments down, as always. Um, if, you, if there's other new subscribers, welcome. If you've liked the video and you'd like to hear from me again, then the best way to do that is click the, the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get to see information of when the new videos go up and also um, any potential upcoming pods, podcasts and live streams. There will be a live stream uh, when the fixtures f are released as well, so look, keep an eye out for that. That's going to be over the next three weeks. If I remember correctly, it's like the 13th, the 13th of June, if I remember right. So keep an eye out for that. Um, but also... 
If you like the video and you feel I deserve it, then by all means please click the like button and also share this video with anybody that you feel may want to watch it. You can find me on all the social media platforms of Twitter, Reddit, Facebook. There's, there's a channel and a page set up for the, um, so there's a page for the channel and a group for a channel as well set up on Facebook. Um, so where it was, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, fanvibe.com, all using the same username at jpwhutv so feel free to tweet me about anything you want feel free to contact me on facebook you're more than more than welcome to do any of that so thank you very much for your time guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and i will see you hopefully with a better nose because i've got a bit of a cold at the minute so hopefully next time you see me i'll be i will be back to normal well normal for me anyway so in the meantime guys have a great one take care of yourselves and i'll see you soon